Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today we're working on the low poly female anime character. This is all part of a bigger series, so make sure you've checked out the earlier episodes. The playlist is in the description. Also, if you like what you see here, I've got a much more detailed character course following a sculpting workflow, taking you right from nothing to a game ready character with animations in a game engine and all from a beginner's perspective. Okay, so here's where we got to last time and go to wireframe into front view with one on my numpad and select these bottom vertices here. I'll move in a bit more and I will E to extrude downwards, scale that up just a touch and follow the line of the leg. I'll E to extrude again and I'll go to the top of the boot. Just grab that and move it into position a little bit. I've gone a tiny bit wider at the knee there and I think that ends up looking a little bit better. So with the bottom selected again, I'll miss out this bit. I'll go all the way down to where the mesh changes direction. So E to extrude and down to here and then scale it in. E to extrude to about where the toes are. I'll scale in the Z axis zero so it flattens them out which will be easier when we come to positioning the foot on the floor later on. E to extrude in the Z axis and go straight down to the bottom there. I'll scale that up a touch, but not too much. I'll do more editing a bit later on. And I will just scale in the Z axis zero with this one as well, and then rotate it so it lines up with the boot. Now the reason I left this loop cut here in last is because I wanted there to be a simple line going down here that I didn't have to sort of mess about with and edit. So let's just check it's looking okay. Let's go to side view and then line things up into wireframe mode and then move these things across. And select all these back vertices here and G then Y. I'm constraining them always to the Y axis. That way it won't get too confused with the front. And now back to solid mode and let's see how we're going. That looks reasonably okay. I'll complete the foot and then it will make a bit more sense. So back into wireframe mode. Let's select these two faces at the front here. Side view, E to extrude, and then move them into position with G. So round about there, I'm going to select the top edges now. So I'm in edge mode, select those top edges and just bring those down and back into solid mode and see what we've got. Okay, so a bit of editing needed. I'll select this face and this face and scale in the X, so it comes out slightly. And I'll just leave it there for now because I'm going to add another loop cut in here in a moment. And I just need to fill in this area here. So this edge, in edge mode, sorry, this edge and this edge and press F, and then this one edge here and press F and we filled that in. I'm going to select these two edges here and go to side view, into wireframe, and I want to bring them back to their level with the heel. So I'll just press G for now and actually I'll move these up I know I flattened them out earlier, but I'm gonna to have to do that again. Just about there. And just that middle vert, I need to move back. So GG will do, edge slide, move that back to there. Now select these two bottom faces here and here. Back to side view and E to extrude downwards. So we've got the heel there. It's back into solid view and see what we've got. It's looking okay, so side view again, control R this time around here. And I'll just bring that down. So it's sort of fairly flat at the bottom here. And we're getting there with this shoe. I'll scale this on the x-axis so it comes a little bit wider. Maybe a touch more about there, I think. And then lastly, I want a sole here. It's a tiny bit awkward. I need to bring down a sole, but I've got to somehow attach it to the back heel here. I think the easiest way is to go to face mode, select these four faces. I'll go to side view for this, E to extrude downwards. So we're somewhere around there. I'll level these faces up in a moment. And then I'll press Control R to do a loop cut around here. I like this. And I want to merge these vertices together. So wireframe mode, side view. Hopefully you can make sense of this. One on my keyboard to go to vertex mode and select all those vertices that aren't joined in there. M to merge by distance if you're in 2.83. Alt M if you're in 2.82. And by distance just there. Then we can tick on the merge distance and just push it upwards until we see three vertices removed there. And just there was the magic number. So they're merged together, but we have got some extra faces in here. If I go to face mode, you can see there's one there and one there. We just need to press delete and then faces on those. So we need to make sure this face 
and this face are level with this one and this one. So I'll go to side view and scale Z zero and Alt A to deselect and into edge mode, select this edge around here and G to grab in the Z axis, just so we've got more of a sole along here. And I think these ones, G then Z, and move them down just a touch. Back to solid view and see what we've got. And that looks all right. I think the knee area needs a bit of work. So let's go to front view and wireframe again and see if we can't tidy that up a bit. I feel like these areas along here just need to go out a touch. And all the time just jumping to and fro from wireframe mode to solid mode and see how it's looking. This needs lining up a bit more at the back. I might bring these down a bit and rotate them a bit. So there's a slight slope down so the calf can stick out a bit more there. These ones can come out just a touch more. And the reason I'm pulling them down a bit is because I want more of a curve in here, but I still want to maintain a sort of dent in here. However, I might grab these two, scale them in just a touch and bring them down. Okay, have a good look around. Make sure you're reasonably happy. The shoes might be a bit big. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make them a bit curved. So this edge and this edge and this edge and this edge. Oh, and the fronts as well. Uh, G then Z, just so there's a bit more curve to them like that. I can drag this one in, GG, edge slide and bring that in a bit more so there's more curve to the leg there. Now of course if you want more detail you can have more cuts in here and you could certainly make an argument for a cut coming down here. So control R and a loop cut coming down there and maybe breaking at the bottom. But at the moment it goes all the way around the character. If I zoom out and do that again, it goes all the way up and around but the cut in there would make the legs more rounded and I could have more play in this area. But it is meant to be a low poly character, so we'll stick with that. Okay, so I'll make the loop cut around here. Control R, left click and drag it upwards into position. And I'm going to make the top of the boots here. So three to go into face mode. Alt left click on one of the edges going downwards so I can select the face loop. Alt E to extrude faces along the normals and that will extrude out in the face direction. And with that command, remember you've got your dialog box here if you need any of these controls. We can do the same for the shorts now as well. So Alt left click on that edge coming down to select the face loop going around here and Alt E extrude along the normals. Move my mouse just a touch and we got some shorts there. Now it's up to you whether you want to actually extrude another patch for the belt or whether you just want to draw it in with an edge loop. Either way, it will need an actual loop there. So I'm going to go to wireframe and front view and see how these loops match up. So edge mode with two, and there's one loop going around there and one loop a fair way above it. So I'm going to GG to edge slide this one. So it matches the t-shirt and then I'll scale that in the X. So it comes in around her ribs and I'm going to press Control R and do a loop cut where the belt is. So if I go to solid mode, you can now see that that's going to be the belt going around there. And I'm going to color that a different color to the skin, obviously. Let's just make sure from side view that it hasn't messed anything up. That's why I scaled in the X axis and not the Y, so it wouldn't bring these in too far. I think it's a little bit sharp there though, so let's just quickly go to side view and maybe grab in the Y. back into object mode and just check that's working. Just a little bit of tidying up here into wireframe and I'll grab these back ones here. Let's go to side view. Yeah, they are sticking out a fair way. So I'm just going to bring those in a bit more. So there's more sort of curve and arch to her body. Let's come around to the back here, make sure that's all good and that the belt is going to go round fairly evenly. Back to solid view. And I'll get rid of my references and see how we're getting on. There'll be a bit of tidying up to do as we're doing some of the texturing, but we'll save that for next time. Okay, so I hope you're enjoying the series. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.